Welcome to Toyota Jeff Reviews. This is the new 2023 RAV4 Hybrid XSE. XSE. There are some big changes coming across the whole RAV4 lineup, RAV4 Hybrid lineup, RAV4 Prime lineup for 2023. Let's start here and go all the way around so you can see what's new. Now the one I've already filmed that's new, a new trim level, the RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition. I think that'll be very exciting for people because you get utility, capability, looks, versatility. But what's new with the XSE? This is one that probably is the most popular RAV4 hybrid trim level, I'd say, because it's sporty. It has a lot of features on it, and everybody seems to like it. Ooh, I see something new. Toyota Audio Multimedia. And we're gonna talk about this. And this. Very light hood. Easy to use prop rod. It's like a step-by-step -step tutorial. You think you're on YouTube or something. This is a 2.5 liter, four cylinder engine. Electronically controlled CVT. Has independent McPherson struts in the front, independent multi-link rear suspension in the back. Both are sport tuned. So you get that one with the road feel, more high performance. The all wheel drive system is considered electronic on-demand AWD. So what that means is it operates like a front wheel drive. They do the work until it needs it. Slippery conditions, snow, mud, sand, rain, things like that. Then the back wheels will do work as well. So now everybody is doing the work to get you through. Fuel door, as you'd expect, is on the driver's side. Most Toyotas are. 14.5 gallon fuel tank. Sprinkle that gasoline. Well, we've got 41 in the city. 38 on the highway, 40 combined. Let's start with the biggest change in the front. Really the whole car. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. What that adds in is intersection support. So if you're here waiting to turn left at a light, let's say, and there's a car coming this way, or a car coming in the sidewalk this way, or a person in the crosswalk, it alerts you and could potentially stop you. So that's in addition to Toyota Safety Sense, 2.0. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, that's big. It's big. Oh, yeah. The headlight design, that's new for 2022. I call it sinister. Tell me what you think as we back out. We've got LED headlights, daytime running lights, these LED accent lights. That's what we were seeing on RAV4 Prime XSE, and it's moved here. Ground clearance, 8.1 inches. We have that silver metallic bumper accent there along with gloss black. We're gonna see a lot of gloss black, including in this trapezoidal front grille. Holla. We've got radar technology here. We've got camera technology right there. A lot of trapezoids. Well, two trapezoids. But anyway, let's take a look at the hood design. To me, it seems very simple, right? But those simple curves mean a lot. Trying to think of a joke, I can't really think of anything. So insert a joke in the comment section if you want to. What about this profile? Look how tall and sturdy and rugged and cool looking it is. Especially with these gloss black, multi-spoke, 18 inch alloy wheels. Look at the gloss black fender treatment here. Not too thick, not too thin. It's just right, said the three bears. Now we'll add in the turn signal to those sinister headlights. And then we'll go around here, we'll see side turn signals, gloss black caps. We got blind spot right there. Got a little cutout here for better visibility around that A pillar. We've got chrome treatments on the window at the top. And then we've got moonroof and gloss black rails. So let's come out here. Not quite. We've got this right here. That's auto lock, auto unlock there. And now look at our beautiful profile. The parts make the whole. Let's take this bad boy out a little bit. Gonna light it up. See those LED tail lights, the reverse lights. I've got this great backup camera here. I'll show you that when we get inside. Get the flashers going. Oh my gosh, it's a flasher. All right, 
How do you like the back end? There's more. I mean, just look at how many different colors, how many different finishes we see here. This is crazy. LED tail lights. We've got silver metallic right here. Of course, cavalry blue. We've got a lot of bugs on here. It just got delivered. Then we've got gloss black down here along with the silver metallic bumper accent down below. And then we've got two pipes. Two exhaust pipes, and I like that because it's standard across every RAV4. They all look cool, right? And then we've got gloss black on this rear spoiler and along the pillars here. Windows wiping, windows wiping. When you put it in reverse, look how crystal clear that picture is too. That is really strong. You're gonna like that. We do have a power lift gate. It's not hands-free, so you, cannot kick it. That's not one of the things that they offer. But you do have this right here, so you can pop that down. Versatility, we've got a cargo space that's tall. It's wide. I could probably sit. I could probably fit. That's nice. It. Meow. Let's take a closer look. We've got a place for putting our tunnel cover. Whoop, whoop right there so you can hide your valuables. LED light, we've got a little storage pocket, and then we've got tie downs. They're in all four sides. I would say you could bungee things in, tie them down with rope, rope-a-dope, all that kind of stuff. And then you can also open that up and expose the spare tire. These are the grooves. The groove is in the heart. Let's groove tonight. It's right there for the tunnel cover. You can put it underneath the floor and store it out of the way. And then if I climb on in, I'm five foot eight. I could probably lay here, put a pillow, some blankets up here. I could probably snooze if I wanted to, but there is room. Remember the profile, it's tall? Well, I've got a lot of headroom back here. 39.5 inches, which is really good for a vehicle this size. It has 37.8 inches of rear seat leg room. The soft tax here with the fabric inserts, the seats are incredibly comfortable. I think you'll be impressed if you try it out for yourself. I can hang on to these and I can swing like I'm American Ninja Warrior or a monkey. Let's get a closer look. A closer look, I say. This is soft touch. We've got silver metallic accents and you'll notice the theme of black with blue accents all the way around. Not just because it has cavalry blue exterior, that would be with any of the colors. So we've got a seat pocket here for the back. No seat pocket here. We've got Dexter's material for his next victim right there. We do have that. We've got USB-C's down here. Very cool. Got rear air vents and then a nice wide surface here for an armrest. Kind of chunky. Not soft, not hard and then latches for child safety seats right down there. And shaboom. Shaboom, shaboom. La da 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 da. As we go in the passenger side, this is new. 10.5 inch Toyota Audio Multimedia. I'll be telling you the benefits over the next couple minutes of that. It's coming to just about every model of Toyota for 2023, some exceptions. We've got soft tech seats. Nice, soft, supportive headrest there. And look, they have the blue crossed accents. That's a fabric insert. They're really comfortable, I'm telling you, they are. If you've tried it for yourself, if you own one, you'll know. So it does not have the ability to raise the seat or raise the roof, but you can send it backward, recline. All right, so what do we have here? Well, we've got pockets for sport bottle, kind of a thicker one could fit there and maybe a little bit of whatever you want it to be there. A smart storage shelf. We'll call this a smart storage shelf as well. That's down in there. And then you can put your keys, wallet, wallet phone keys. There we go. We got nice glove box size. Let's go in here. Oh, that's soft touch. I like it. Me likey. All right, USBs there, USB-Cs there. And then we've got da, 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 USB A in there. So one USB A, four USB C's. And look, we've got different drive modes. So here on the seven inch multi information display, we can do our drive modes. We've got trail mode. That would be maybe if we're driving somewhere like that. 
at the park in the woods, or sport for better acceleration, more responsive acceleration, you'll feel the thrill. Eco, better gas mileage, who doesn't want that with a hybrid? EV is, that's gonna be all electric, electric vehicle, it's at low range, under 25 miles an hour for maybe a half a mile or so, it's not long, and that goes back to normal. So let's see what it looks like here. We've got Eco, green, that makes sense. Red, that also makes sense. We've got trail mode, that'll pop up. Look at that, it's got some rocks going on, hello. We will, we will rock you. That's the normal mode. EV is gonna pop out because I haven't charged it yet. You need to drive it a little bit to charge up that battery and then you can use it. It's great for construction zones. It's great for stop and go traffic on the highway or looking for a parking spot at Christmas time at the mall. It's time for the driver's side. All right, same thing as on the passenger side. Got automatic high beams, that's on. Just push that, that's for the power lift gate. You hold that down a second or two. Then we've got a storage pocket here. That's how you do the vents. Just kind of open them there. Open them, close them, like that. We've got our gasoline, our hood. Chun, 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 chun. Look, even the mats are clipped in. They're not gonna slide. Although these ones all weather, they're not gonna slide anyway. This has got the eight-way power adjustable like that and then this is for the back of the seat two-way lumbar support and then just like the passenger side will go back this far so too will the driver not all the way but mostly all the way we can say so let's come over here we've got nice deep bottle holders cup holders whatever you want to call them they can hold a lot even the sport bottles that are thicker this is the brake hold that'll hold you in place for about three minutes you have to have your driver's door shut. You have to have your driver's seatbelt clipped and then pull up to, every time you start, you have to push that, okay? So when you pull up to a light, it'll say hold. It'll say hold is on and then it'll say hold is active. There'll be two buttons or two lights that'll show up and then you'll know it's on. After three minutes, it switches over to the electronic parking brake that you see here. Let's go through the controls on our 23 XSE. So this is our keypad that controls that and then this performs your function. So we're going to go, let's start at the main one right here. We just scroll down and then we're going to scroll across to get, okay, so we're going through our filing cabinets of information. See it goes across to the right or left, however you move it. That's our eco energy indicator so it tells us when we're using gasoline electric motor power when we're recharging the battery this car has regenerative braking so when you're coasting slowing down braking it'll recharge that battery as well tire pressure and that's the all-wheel drive indicator it'll tell you which tires are doing the work it'll show up I probably in blue I would guess it's like that trip time lane tracing assist some of these buttons on the safety features you're gonna either just push to get the next icon or folder or you're gonna hold it down so this one here I'm gonna hold it down so do you want your lane centering on yeah I like that do you want your sensitivity change the sway warning tells you if you're swaying too much if you're going outside of your lane too much pre-collision system we'll hold that down the OK button sensitivity you can have that on or off blind spot monitor you just push it that'll be on off, on, like that. So let's turn that back on. Rear cross traffic alert that tells you when there's somebody coming up behind you when you've got the backup camera on. Road sign assist, it's off, it's on. If we hold it down, it's gonna tell us the notification method. Do you wanna be notified if you go above the speed limit? Visual, audio, none, others, only visual, that kind of thing. Notification level. Do you wanna be notified if you're going above five miles more than what the speed limit says? Three miles, one mile, it'll alert you. Hey yo, you're speeding again. Okay, now watch this. Vehicle settings, we're gonna push it? No, hold it down, yes. PBD, PB and J, PBD, power back door, it's off. It's on, so if your power back door doesn't work when you take delivery of your car, 
go to vehicle settings and make sure it's turned on and you use this as your back arrow like that tire pressure warning system set the pressure change the wheel rear seat reminder it lets you know if you've left something valuable in your back schedule maintenance let's go now let's go down to settings i think i'm gonna have to hold this one yeah okay what language do you want english spanish french en français en espanol all right so we've got kilometers or miles and then meter type watch this do we want analog like we see there watch it's going to change to digital i think we'll keep it there digital yeah i like that this one we do not need to plug in our phone to usb like we would on a 22 or earlier this has wireless apple carplay thanks to the toyota audio multimedia system we're going to have heated seats high low how low can you go how low can you go this is traction control you would turn it off if you want to maybe get out of an obstacle your wheels are stuck in the snow or something like that you want to rock back and forth that kind of a thing maybe do donuts I've done lots of videos on the traction control actually that one has the traction control button video I've done has 2.8 million views so we've got dual temperature controls recirculated air that's smart energy air recirculated or refreshed air from the outside that controls where the air comes out like that that's your back that's your front for defrosting flashers okay this one right here so when you start the vehicle up you're going to want to set up and subscribe to all the things i think you get free trials to start off with we'll just see what that looks like there toyota symbol going on got it going on all right so we'll get our warning we'll just hit to continue because blah 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 we want english you can link your toyota app up enter your mobile phone i'm not going to do that but that's what you need to do so i'm going to cancel the setup and i don't want to hit do not show that again although you might if you own it i don't own it so i don't want to do that for the next person so we can enable the audio sirius xm like that music you can scroll through got our christmas stuff set up holla pop where's my ariana grande where's my billy iris where's my ed sheeran so you can do that you can also do it this way some other things i could do got to connect your phone trip information history energy flow that's that big big schematic of what we saw over here right like that that's really cool i love the new evolution of that one it's neat all right so you can set up your personal info the bluetooth the paired you can do multiple phones in and profiles in your vehicle you can do two smartphones at the same time i like that general what would we want to know the screen beeps date and time this is how you change daylight savings time in your rav4 you just click it off see the time change on um, oh wait i want to go back to keyboard language english i guess you can set it that way and then it goes uh, notifications software updates vehicle suggestions virtual assistant what type of navigation do you want to have or do you not want to have wi-fi do you want to set up your wi-fi hotspot that's very cool that would be important driving through the mountains maybe display that can give you different settings based on whether you want brightness or not okay sound and media this is where you change your auto sound levelizer your tuning like that you just slide it across all right media radio and sirius xm that's active already we've got lights you can set up your auto on sensitivity daytime running lights there's a lot you can do there how do you want auto lock to work auto unlock the two press unlock 
lock one door open. Climb it. And is that it? Is that it? Um, dealer info. You can add a dealer. That would work with your service connect. That tells you about software update. And then you can do apps. That's how you set up your remote connect right there. And up top here, we have home link for garage door opener programming. Generally, you're going to want to have your vehicle in front of your garage. You're going to want to hold down the normal garage door opener and then hold this down, hold them both down for like 30 seconds or so. And then it should start flashing more, I believe. And hopefully that will program it. Maybe you have two. You've got one to your subdivision gate, your beach house. So you can set up a few. Auto dimming, frameless. Let there be lights. Safety connect. You can push that safety connect when you first get the vehicle and then you can set up and establish the safety connect. Or if you have an emergency, like an accident or there's trouble, you can push that and people will help you. It's a free trial at first, but then you have to subscribe. All right, here we go. Sunglass holder. That's for the moonroof. I'll show you how much it opens. If you push it twice, it goes open all the way. So let's close that. You can close the shade. The shade. That's the villain in the show Stargirl that I watch. Look out for the shade. Oh no, it's the shade. Lighted mirror with slider and done. We're gonna look at the window sticker now so you can see what one might cost, what it has standard. Cavalry blue with black interior. This is a J car, meaning the first letter is a J. That means, woo, that it's in Japan. If it was Canada, it would be a two. If it was Georgetown, Kentucky, it'd be a four. All right, that's interesting. Safety ratings, fuel ratings that I told you about. We got standard features and safety. Take a look at those. It's got eight different airbags. Just stop the video or play it again. Watch it twice. That'd be great. We've got those LED projector headlights, the vertical LED accents. There's a lot going on. And look, 10.5 inch Toyota Audio Multimedia with six speakers. All right, I like it. I like it, I like it. This one starts at 35,885. You can upgrade, I believe, to the larger multi-information display. That would be here as a factory option, probably option package, I would imagine. So we've got that 35.8. We're gonna take it over to look at regional assembly port options right here. And then with delivery, that's 1215, it'll be 38,447. This one is available at Fred Anderson Toyota. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate you all. What do you think of RAV4 XSE? What do you think of the changes for 2023? Are you excited? Watcha! All right. Please hit subscribe, join Toyota Jeff Reviews. Now you're part of the community. I get your thoughts, opinions, comments, and I love them. That helps us create a forum, a community that wants to know more about RAV4 and a lot of other different Toyotas. I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Toyota Jeff Reviews, and my second channel is Auto Jeff Reviews. That looks at the whole automotive industry, all brands. I appreciate you all. Instagram, TikTok there. See you next time.